2007, the UK registered charity, the Environmental Justice Foundation, EJF, first launched its own brand of ethical designer t-shirts. From the catwalk to the high street, through our pop-up shops and extensive media coverage, our t-shirts have become an alternative option to conventional t-shirts. Not only are these t-shirts a sustainable source of income, they are also the face of our Pick Your Cotton Carefully campaign, dedicated to eradicating forced child labour and the deadliest pesticides from cotton production. Promoted by over 60 fashion personalities, including Lily Cole, Erin O'Connor, celebrities such as Katie Tunstall and Francis Bean Cobain, designed by international fashion designers, including Luella, Catherine Hamnett, Christian Lacroix and Jay Jagger, with stands at London, Paris, New York, Milan, Berlin and Copenhagen Fashion Weeks. Our t-shirt campaign's collection of ambassadors has become a true who's who in the fashion and celebrity world. With the outstanding support and interest from these big names, the media and the world's top fashion shows, EJF's message has gone global. Conventional cotton is riddled with damaging social and environmental practices woven into its journey from the field to the shops. Cotton has also been labelled the world's thirstiest cash crop. But cotton production doesn't have to be like this. Supermodel, actor and activist Lily Cole travelled to India with EJF to see how our t-shirts are made. For the past four years I've supported the Environmental Justice Foundation, which tackles some of the root causes of environmental and human rights abuses around the world. In December 2010, I went to Gujarat and Tirupur in India to see for myself what goes into making one of EJF's climate neutral t-shirts. Through EJF, I've learned that the process of making something as simple as a t-shirt is in fact incredibly complex and presents many issues, from the ecological and humanitarian implications of non-organic cotton farming to the amount of energy required to drive the numerous factories involved in turning a cotton ball into a t-shirt. In the exemplary factory that we visited, it was really exciting to see this streamlined machinery and know that somewhere not very far away there's a whole host of wind turbines that are quietly creating a sustainable source of energy for this production. I was very impressed by the way this factory go about their dyeing process. They clean and recycle 90% of their water and have been doing so since they opened 12 years ago. The huge vats of bubbling waste product were disgusting and it's terrifying to think that in other places this could end up in a local river, like the one we could see over the horizon. Instead, using an eight-stage process, the black dye waste was turned into clean water, which I actually dared to drink. The water goes back into the system and the process starts again, with only 10% loss due to evaporation. From beginning to end, this production line has taken its carbon footprint back to pre-industrial levels and shown that it is economically viable to do so. This way, industrial measures of production can evolve to coexist with our ecology and become sustainable. Besides the fundamental importance of protecting our planet's future, it makes economical sense too. We need this long-term vision. Our 
our Pick Your Cotton Carefully campaign has two sides. Alongside EJF's more conventional campaigning, our popular t-shirts have spread the message and galvanised support for change in the fashion industry, with our t-shirts now being sold in over 15 countries promoting real ethical alternatives in cotton production. 100% of the profits go directly back into funding EJF's work, campaigning to provide environmental security and defending the human rights of communities around the world. Through investigations, research, film and reports, we take evidence of these issues directly to decision makers at national and international levels. From the European Parliament to the UN, from the international buying powers to the everyday shopper, we campaign for change on the damaging practices in cotton production from the top down and the bottom up. Since the Pick Your Cotton Carefully campaign began, over 40 of the world's largest retailers, including Asda Walmart, Tesco, Levi, Gap and CNA, have taken the unprecedented action of eliminating Uzbek cotton from their supply chain. With support from EJF, many retailers have undertaken rigorous supply chain audits and developed effective track and trace systems so they can identify the country of origin for their cotton, something in many cases they previously had no idea about. And after 10 years of campaigning, endosulfan, a dangerous pesticide used in many cotton producing countries, finally reached the end of the road when a global ban on its production and use was agreed in April 2011. So this is the story of how our t-shirts are changing the world.